In Glasgow, they are in earshot of the world's leaders under the UN's banner. So let's give a big shout out to everyone in our movement who's gone to Glasgow to make their voices heard. We are with you today. And here in London, we're in earshot of the seat of our government, of our leaders in Westminster. But are they listening? Finally, will they take the action we need? That is the question. This year's COP will decide if that crucial limit of 1.5 degrees of warming will survive. But there's a wave of techno fixes and self-congratulation coming from the conference hall that is just not cutting it. Our leaders must stop measuring themselves against what they have done before and start living up to what is needed, what they owe us and the world. We, we say to our leaders today, listen to us and keep 1.5 alive. Now it's really hard not to shout. I've just been shouting for a whole minute. It feels really desperate sometimes. And I've been campaigning on this, I realise now, for over 20 years. And I joined a movement that was over 25 years old. So for nearly 50 years, we have collectively been calling for action, for keeping fossil fuels on the ground, in the ground, for stopping the destruction of nature, for stopping the massive subsidy of destruction by our government with our money. They haven't even agreed to stop doing this yet this week. And yet we've said stop a lot over the decades. But we've also said go. We have said we can create a better world for everyone. A world of justice, equality, fairness, balance and sustenance. A world of warm homes, amazing public transport, healthy streets, clean air, good affordable food, nature in abundance. A world with a basic income and worthwhile jobs, real justice and healing between nations, real solidarity and respect between people, real quality of life for every person. We can have this, we've been asking for this for so long. Caroline Lucas on Question Time this yes! week. Woo! Now, I don't usually watch it myself either, but I did watch this one. On Question Time, Caroline said, on the one hand, there is the world of what is deemed to be politically possible, and in that world, yes, small steps forward are welcomed. But compared with the transformative change that science requires and which international justice also requires, we are still a long way off. 